in science, it's it's a big darkness, and you're you're out there probing, trying to grab an understanding of something. The question that we're all interested in is asking about how the brain enables cognition and consciousness. And to, to achieve an understanding of that both mechanistically and appreciatively uh, is, is a goal. How does the layered system, namely the brain-mind interface, interact? One is animating the other. One, software is nothing without the hardware. Hardware is nothing without the software. And it's that combining of those two layers and one to constrain the other. This is a deep philosophical question and where neuroscience uh, will play a, a major role will be in how we think about people who have engaged in antisocial behavior. And how we think about it. This is ultimately a social decision. If you uh, so if, if you just are holding people accountable for their actions, that's just what goes on. To me, the implication is it's a phenomenon that's realized at the social layer. It's when two people get together and more, seven billion of us now. Uh, it's what happens in that form of network that in order to make that network work, there's this notion of responsibility. And so all these things that people bring in as possible excuses for why the punishment to Jones ought to be mitigated. Those issues will, through time, I think, be enlightened by neuroscience. So understanding that there are layers to be understood and one doesn't necessarily predict you'll be able to understand the other is, is the thing I want people to be thinking about.